things that a lot of people would never tell you while starting a career as a tech youtuber hey there guys my name is Rachel and today in this video I will let you know top five things that you need to follow if you want to be a tech youtuber in the year 2023 now I know this is a bizarre video because when you look after the views on my channel it is not as good because it is a new YouTube channel and because it is a new YouTube channel I want to venture out and see what all are the possibilities and what all are the best practices in the year 2023 if you want to be a good tech youtuber now the number one thing and the most vital part that I want to talk about is scripting scripting is one of the most important and the most vital part when you are filmatographing whenever creating a film or a movie or a video you need to have a proper grasp of different steps that you need to go through to deliver the content to your viewers and I'll be very honest right now I have the whole script in front of me written on Grammarly let us say um, you are making videos every week and at some point you have about like 100 videos or 50 videos on your YouTube channel and YouTube algorithm somehow believes that this specific video needs to go viral and by viral I don't mean to say a 1 million views but let us say if you even get 1000 views and people are actually um, looking after those keywords that your video has to offer now out of those 100 people if 500 people in that queue have watched that video for more than let us say 5 out of 10 minutes or 8 out of 10 minutes of that total delivery time of the video then YouTube knows that your video is doing really good and this is the type of content that your viewers really want to get into to and this is why scripting is very important if you do not script those things then you lose the path somewhere in between and losing path means that you are not able to deliver the information that you want to and your subscribers and your viewers are confused at that point and that is the end of the career the people would never want to watch your videos ever again and they might skip out even the latest titles that they are right now looking into the uh, suggested content and so on so if you want to be into this filmatography or this vlogging career then you need to decide on the content and you do need to script all of it now you do not need to buy the most expensive stuff in the market to start the, uh, this videography career in the year 2023 you can use all those tools you have different notes application on your android phone your iphone even the cheapest ones that are available in the market so do not sell a lot of money while starting a career as a youtuber now the second thing is that do you need to have a lot of gadgets in your house um now you know at this time when i look after my shelf i have about 25 to 30 different gadgets that i could create content on and if i say 30 gadgets that really means that 30 into 30 or 30 into 100 different videos that i can make uh, when i combine all those gadgets and so on but you really do not need 100 different gadgets to start your career as a tech vlogger um i'll give you a very small and a simple example let us say you have a mouse in your home that is connected to your uh, pc it is a macbook or it is a laptop and so on that simple mouse can have so many videos that could be built around it for example just creating a video about how to connect a bluetooth mouse to the macbook or how to connect the wireless mouse to the macbook not the bluetooth one the one with the wi-fi module at this moment you can create more than one video with just one mouse and that is something very unique now i won't say that this is a best practice to do making this uh, a video on the same element again and again but you need to keep one thing in mind at that point youtube knows that you are creating a video about that very specific product and if it is more than five to ten videos then hey you know you are already into a chance where people would be getting through your video more often than the other people who just made one video about the same product so yeah that would work for you and you do not have to shell out extra money for that it could be the very basic mouse it could be a 10 year old laptop that is lying around 
um, your pet or in your wardrobe and you never use it so now what you can do is that you can try to share your experience at how that 10 year old uh, macbook or the laptop is running in the year 2023 is it good for gaming what are the difficulties that you're able to see can i install chrome os on this 10 year old laptop and so on so the possibilities are always limitless and you never need to have a lot of gadgets in your house to be a true tech youtuber and this is something that i really wanted to talk about because people ask me you know does a lot of gadgets is equals to a lot of views and a lot of subscriber on your um, youtube channel no that is a straight no questions having gadgets in the future when you really um, uh, are into a position where you can sign embargo units and so on that is a good thing but uh, starting your career with a lot of products it is a hell no from my side so keep in mind you do not need all those expensive gadgets to um, start a, a tech youtube channel all you need is knowledge another thing is that stop buying the expensive gadgets for filmatography you do not need an, an iphone 14 pro max to shoot videos you do not need the pixel 7 pro for shooting videos you do not need a canon or a sony dslr camera to shoot the videos you have just started your career as a tech youtuber do not shell out money on those expensive gadgets you do not need a real good test and trust me right now this mic is sitting on a dining table instead of being a proper desk and the sofa where i'm sitting on is actually the one that i got for really free if you can um, get all those things for free or if there is something that is lying around your house for free it is good you know if you have a five-year-old camera that your father purchased or or you got it from somewhere it is good to use that thing in your youtube videos just make use of whatever you have but purchasing all those things solely for making youtube videos does not make any sense i would say while starting a youtube channel focus on things like microphone rather than uh, focusing on things like having the most expensive camera around um, i would say the vocals are very important and if you are clear enough if your speech or the voice of quality is clear enough then people do want to see your content um even a 200 dollar redmi smartphone is more than good enough to shoot in 4k and mind it right now i am not even shooting in 4k so you might be in a very better situation than what i am while shooting this video uh, videos right now um, so yeah the voice quality is something that you need to keep in mind but you do not need the best production quality while starting a tech youtube channel so save on the money and uh, just deliver the right information in the best quality of voice now over to the fourth thing uh, one thing that i really stress out and i really tell people is that to reach out the community now let us say that you are new into vlogging and your tech niche is wordpress development or something related to wordpress now what i should do is that i should actually um, look out in the search title of youtube that uh, how to create Word wordpress blogs and i should trim it down to the people who just uploaded that video in a month or a week i would suppose that most of those people not most of those people but you know uh, one or three out of 10 people are those people who are just starting their career in that niche now you can comment on those uh, videos you can share your community you can um, talk to those people make joint content um, start giving each other some shout out start linking each other's videos in your youtube videos and so on even the other person is getting 100 views now you are into the suggested content of that other youtuber so you are are able to get some audience from all those 100 views that the other person was getting so 100 people added to the watchers list means that the number of impressions on a video increases and this is what is really important so do comment on other people's videos and do reach out to the tech community so that you all guys can help each other to grow 
I do not do it a lot often because I am not a full time YouTuber. I work as a tech analyst and that is what I do for my daily earning or daily living. But hey, you have some time and you can devote some of that time into building community with other YouTubers that you see around. Now the last thing which I really want to talk about is the niche. Now niche is something which is very very important and why it is important is that because most of the niches that we are seeing in the world of tech blogs or tech vlogs in the year 2023 are really saturated. Let us say I want to uh, have a niche where I just talk about the smartphones like the Pixel 7, the iPhone 14 Pro Max but whenever I use those keywords in my actual vlogs the amount of impressions goes really down and this could be one of the reasons that I am trying to make this video for you guys right because it is not related to the latest smartphone and the probability of ranking this video is much more higher than making a video that caters to the iPhone 14 Pro Max now you can add to your niche in the future time but right now you need to build on something and that niche should not be something that is already available in the market people want new content people want pure content and how you are able to uh, deliver that content content is by doing something that other people are not doing i would say start picking up even the smallest thing in your home for example a table lamp how a table lamp is useful while studying how the table lamp is uh, able to uh, protect your eyes from strain how a table lamp can help you with uh, uh, watching content on your screen at night and so on so you can make use of those very little things around you that you have in your home and uh, that is what is really important start picking up the niche with the low density keywords the keywords that are uh, not having a very high competition start looking for all those things on tools like x super tools um, and try ranking your video on those tools by including those uh, keywords in the description the title the meta and so on so yeah that was all um, the tools and the tricks that no one is talking about in the year 2023 and now you know all those tools and now you can start building your career as a tech youtuber in the year 2023 so that was me Anshul signing off thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one peace